Hello everyone. I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can use Data Import Wizard tool that is available in Salesforce. And through this tool, you can insert, update, and upsert records. So upsert basically means combination of insert and update. So now let's understand how we can uh, use Data Import Wizard in Salesforce. So if I go to the org and open the object manager, so I'm going to insert records related to account object. So here you can see uh, I am under account and in the fields and relationships. So I, I'm copying name and putting it here. So we need to have the uh, Excel sheet column headings as the field API, which we want to insert. So I'm using account underscore underscore C. Then we have annual revenue. And uh, description, right? So these four fields I'm going to fill and I will be using this sheet to insert data using data import wizard. So let's say name is account 101 active as yes, annual revenue and description. Insert through data import wizard. Right, so I'm just having the same information and updating it to 201. It is, let's say, no annual revenue is this value and it is same. So this way I created the sheet and here I'm writing account information here also account, right? So this way, like you can create the data in the Excel sheet, you can have any number of uh, columns. Uh, those are available under this fields and relationships and you can create uh, uh, rows as well. There is limitation though. So uh, I will tell you like how much records you can uh, insert in one go. So what we can do, you can just click on file and download it as comma separated values. So it is being downloaded. So now let's jump here, go to home and search for data import wizard. So this option is available. So you can click here and this UI will open. So it is taking a bit time. So you can see data import wizard is available and you need to click on this launch wizard option. Now, if you want to insert your accounts through this account app, so there also you will find this import option. So if you click on this import button, so it will automatically open this data import wizard. And here you will see only accounts and contacts because you click, clicked on the import button through accounts tab. If you come here, you will see different standard objects. If you have custom objects, so right now in this org, we don't have any custom object. If you have, you will see the list. So from here, I'm clicking on accounts and contacts. So here you can see we have three options. We can add new records, we can update existing records, and we can add new and update existing records together. So first I'm going to select this option and uh, you can leave them as is these options. These are additional properties. If you want, uh, you can uh, select these. So right now we are cre cre uh, creating new records, so we can just ignore these. And uh, you just need to click on the CSV and choose file. So from downloads, you can select this option or this file which we downloaded and click on open. So this file is uh, chosen. Now click on next. So here you can see most of the fields are mapped automatically. Uh, this active underscore underscore C is not mapped. So here we have the CSV header and we need to map it with Salesforce object. So if it is not mapped, you can click on map and here you can search for active and map, right? If you want to change the mapping anytime, you can click and change. If it is okay, then you can just click on next, right? So here you can see four fields are mapped. 
So before uh, starting the import, I'm going to sales application and uh, clicking on accounts tab and I'm selecting all accounts, pinning this. So here you can see total 19 reports are available. Now I'm clicking on its start import and okay. So it will take me to the bulk data load jobs. So here we can see the status. So the operation was insert uh, number of batches completed one. And here you can see the records process two, record field zero. So everything is available, right? If you want to see the results, so you can click on view results. So it will uh, download a CSV. If you open that, so you will see the complete uh, detailed result, right? So uh, if, you, if you open this file, so you will be uh, seeing like uh, whether your record is successfully uh, inserted or not. If there is any error, so uh, you will see that error message in that file. Right, so now I'm going to this tab and clicking on the tab again. So you can see total 21 records are there. So the newly created records are available here like account 101 and account 201. If I open this, go to details. So here you can see account name is available, annual revenue is available, active is yes, and description is available here. Right, if I go back, and open another record. So it is also having this information active is no, annual revenue is different and description is this, right? So this way, uh, I hope you understood how we inserted record through Excel to Salesforce. Now, second step is how to update existing records. So for that, uh, like I already opened account 201. So I'm just copying this account ID from the URL. And here I'm adding one more column, labeling it as ID and pasting the ID here. So whenever you want to update existing records, so in Excel, you should have ID of your records because you are updating existing records. So you might be thinking, let's say we have a thousand of records. So do we need to manually copy those IDs? So no. Uh, you can simply export data from Salesforce to Excel and then uh, you can, uh, in that export, uh, you will be having the IDs and uh, you don't need to manually uh, copy those IDs. So I will uh, show you that as well, like how you can export and then change the values and then again import. So now I need to download it again. So, okay, sorry, uh, I just uh, pasted the ID, but uh, I need to update some values here as well. So here you can see in description we have insert. So I'm just putting update. So I'm updating this description field. So I'm downloading it one more time. So we have this file. Right, so latest download we need to use. So again, I'm just launching this wizard, account and context. This time I'm choosing this option, update ex existing record. Now here we will be using these pick lists. So match with Salesforce ID. And here we have this checkbox like update existing account information, yes. So if you don't check this, uh, no update will take place. So from here, I'm choosing the file. So I'm choosing this one, which is the latest one. And clicking on next. So you can see this time, uh, five fields are there. So we need to map this active one. Then I'm clicking on next, five fields are mapped, start import, okay. Again, uh, you can see bulk data load jobs status is available, right? Now, if you go here and open the record, so uh, in the description, you can see it is now having update instead of insert. So it means the records are updating as well. So this way, I hope you understood how we can insert new records. I hope you understood how we can uh, 
update existing records. Now this time I'm going to apply absurd. Absurd means if IDs are available, so those records will be updated. If IDs are not available, so records will be created. So I'm going to create one new record as account 301. It's active status is yes. Envel revenue is this. And here I'm writing absurd. And here also I'm writing absurd, right? So what will happen? These two records will be updated and this new one will be created. So again, I need to download it. And uh, data import wizard, clicking on launch wizard. Now this time I'm going to choose this third option, match with salesforce.com ID and update existing account information. Now we need to choose the CSV file. So this is the latest one and I'm selecting it, clicking on next, mapping the active field. and start import. So process is done. This time you can see number of records are processed as three. Now, if I go here, click on account, so you will see three records. 301 is new, newly created. And you can see description is having absurd. If I go back and open 101, so it will be having in description as absurd. So this way, the existing records updated and the one uh, is created as new, right? Now, how you can export the data? So for that, you need to create report and through reports, you can export the data. So I'm creating new report on account. So here I'm going to add account ID as well. So I'm adding it in the beginning. Right, and other fields are um, like I'm, I'm leaving them as is and saving this report. Okay, now I'm closing it. If I go to all reports, so here it is. If I go here, so I will find this option like export. And here you have these two options. So you can, uh, uh, export it in uh, formatted report. And if you want to have details only, so we have these, these options, Excel format dot XLS, Excel format dot XLS X and comma delimited uh, dot CSV, right? So you can export it. Let's say I'm choosing this export. So it is exported. And let's say, Okay, so if I open this, so this way you will see the file. So here you can see account IDs are by default available. So if you export your report, so you can open it in Excel and you will be having all the data already available and you can uh, modify the values and you can maybe update or absurd whatever you want to do, right? So this way, I hope you understood like how you can use data import wizard so that you can import, update uh, and absurd data in Salesforce from Excel or CSV file.